Hey, what's going on you guys here? Synth Lives and I'm bringing you Sam from Trick or Treat. Ragdoll? No, not Ragdoll. Cloth version from NECA Toys. Oh, yo, I just saw him at the store and I'm like, yo, he was the last one so I thought I'd pick him up. So, well, let's uh, bust him out and uh, see what we got. And here he is. Sam. Uh, in his raggy self. Oof. First time getting a uh, horror cloth to figure right here so that's gonna be cool can't wait for Michael Myers to drop well let's check him out um normally I would do is show the articulation but I can't really do much with all this cloth in the way but so arm can go 360 degrees as you can see um, arm can go 90 degrees cool Hand can swivel back and forth. It can go in 360 degrees. Uh, waist cannot move. Leg, about 90 degrees. Knee, 90 degrees. Uh, I'd say 360 degrees, but go anymore and I'm twisting it. Like that. Uh, let's see. Foot, uh, swivels back and forth, about 90 degrees, I'd say. Hmm. Does not swivel back or forth, that kind of sucks, but whatever. Head, ooh, 360 degrees. Ooh. Hmm. And, uh, that seems about it. The material looks, feels great. I feel like I'm wearing, I feel like I'm touching a cheap blanket, you know, like the airport blankets right there, but still pretty good material, I have to say. Uh, feels like I'm really touching a, a rag, uh, like a burlap sack, but a little more softer, so it's not too rough on you. There's the string, there's the little buns right there. Looks like I'm looking at Coraline. Hmm. Got a nice little patch right there, little stitches, all that. Oh, he's even got like a little, uh, his little packy pack on his back. Look at that. That little pack. Ah, cool. Hands, uh, look, pr detailed to the hands are, look, what the freak, where, where are you hold what? hand right here detail looks pretty good huh. let's check out the shoes huh. detail to it looks pretty good huh. bust them out of this little bag if I can just Christ, he stinks at that man. <laughs> Oh. There it is. Dude, it feels like a pillow. Oh, there it is. No wonder why. Put you over there. Let's check out his... Oh, oh wow. Without the bag, it's just really loose. Oh, the mouth can open too. Oh, that's disgusting. That looks disgusting. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's disgusting. Cool, love it. But oh, dude, that's disgusting. Look at his pumpkin alien looking head. Oh, dude. Oh, sweet. I could like take it off, kinda, right here. Ugh. All right, let's put that back on. Well, let's check out the accessories that came with him. With his famous burlap sack, where he puts his victims in. Hmm. Pretty much the same material as his bag and all that stuff, so... Mm. Then, his last accessory is his infamous lollipop. Lollipop, lollipop, moo lolly, lollipop. <laughs> I have a prop replica of this, it's pretty cool. Sonic and for his, also his murder weapon. Yeah. Hmm. And, uh, that's literally it. Um... There's not much to it, but it's still pretty cool that it's cloth. If this was the Ultimate ed Edition, it would have more accessories, more heads, and all that stuff, but the cloth only has very limited stuff. The most it costs is basically the cloth. But still, either cool. Well, let's check out the box. Well, I say box, but it's more pressed plastic than anything, which is a rarity. Uh, NECA doesn't really do that anymore, but for the cloth the figures that they're doing, uh, that's coming out recently, it's just that, so, clearly, this is the pressed plastic, 
cardboards in here. I'm just going to pull out the cardboard for us to see because the reflection of the light is ruining it. So, here's the background. It's from Real Toys. NECA, age of 17 and up, choking warning, choking hazard, small parts for, not suitable for children under 3 years. Sam, very demonic with the trick or treating title. In the background with that, then in the background we have Sam with his sack, which I, is actually a pretty good idea, I could do that, and put the lollipop in his back sack, hmm, very interesting. Uh, posing right there with just the, his weird formed head, the bags, so, alright. Trick or treats. The doorbell rings. The cry goes out, trick or treats, but wait, what's actually going on during the ghostly Howl's Eve? Something eerie and unexpected, something splattered and spooky. Something that brings ghouls, vampires, werewolves in the night. Answer the door, a shocking surprise awaits. And there it is, Sam. Um, yeah, that's about it. Presented by Legendary Pictures, 2019, all rights reserved to them. So, hmm, pretty much that's it. Basically, the next segment in the that I usually do with the the figures that I pop out is give a little brief history of the movie and or just the characters itself. So basically, okay. So Trick or Treat is a 2007 American anthology horror film written and directed by Michael DeHarty, uh, Doug Hardy. I don't know, and produced by Brian Singer. It relates four Halloween horror stories with a common element in them. Sam, a mysterious child trick or treater wearing shabby orange footy pajamas with a burlap sack over says the character makes an appearance in each of the stories whenever a character breaks Halloween traditions and um, yeah that's about it to it but let me get to Sam's origins itself so basically Sam is a spirit of Halloween night symbolizing both the innocent whimsy and undying Undaring darkness. He appears in different town every year on Halloween night, ensuring that the Halloween spirit is kept alive and pushing those who would ignore or defy the ancient traditions. Often in a sadistic and ironic fashion fa tailored specifically to his targets, his weapons of choice are a jack-o'-lantern lollipop and later on in the film a chocolate bar with a razor blade sticking out. Even unarmed, Sam resorts to clawing and biting his victims. Despite his sadistic and immoral nature, Sam is shown to give mercy to those who change their ways and respect Halloween. Just before he stabs Mr. Greg, he is placid by the chocolate bar Craig uses to block his attack and leaves the house, believing this counted as a trick or treating. Later, Craig is shown giving out candy to kids he once scorned as Sam watches from a distance, as if to warn him that Sam will be watching. Unfortunately for Greg, despite Sam sparing him, he is still found and killed by zombies of the troubled kids Craig killed on the bus. Wow, isn't that... <laughs> doesn't that suck? But, yeah, that's... That's what Sam is. He is this, literally the embodiment and spirit of Halloween, and he tries to keep them in check so nobody like wrongs it. So that's uh, that's some crazy stuff right there, huh? But yeah, uh, Trick or Treat came out in 2007. Yada yada, and uh, yeah, this is Sam. But yeah. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed the figure review. I think this is my first or second cloth figure. I don't know. I need to look back at it. Either way, there's more to come of cloth figures because I'm actually kind of getting interested in them and I really want to buy them. Um, but yeah. If you guys really enjoyed the video and all that stuff, please, please leave a comment down below what you thought. Hit that like, human like button down below. I'd really appreciate that and all that stuff. But, of course, if you want to see more videos of this or any other videos that are on my channel, all you have to do is subscribe, join the Synth Nation, uh, hit that notification bell when new videos come up, and I'll be catching you guys next time. Peace. During the spookiest time of the year, there are a few guidelines all ghosts and goblins should follow. Always stay on sidewalks. Never go to a stranger's house. And never go out alone. <laughs>
This is the one night that all sorts of things roam free. Sorry. All these traditions. Wait, wait. What? You're supposed to keep it lit. Why? Ain't your tradition? Putting on costumes. I look like I'm five. You look great. What did we do now? We meet our dates. Jack-o'-lanterns. Why are we here? To pay our respects to the dead? The Halloween school bus massacre. They started to protect us, but... Morning, guys. How are you doing down there? Hiding bodies? Nowadays, no one really cares. This one's the lit. What is that? It's them. Oh my god. Look at me. It's not a trick. It's real. <laughs> Tonight, it's about respecting the customs, not breaking them. 